What's going on YouTube, Giasen right here, so in today's video we have great news coming from Soric and of course from the Check Rain team, but also we have news coming from Apple as a new version of iOS has been released. Now I'm going to start with Soric, you probably know that CDA Impactor, a utility we've been using for deploying IPA applications to the iOS devices, for example Uncover and Plus Plus applications and so on, has been broken for a couple of weeks now due to some Apple changes. Now it's not only CDA Impactor, most applications that do this kind of side loading have been broken due to an error related to Xcode 7.3. Now today Soric posted this quote, about two weeks ago Apple made a change to their provisioning service to require a different authentication scheme for free Apple accounts. They return an error that mentions upgrading to Xcode 7.3. This broke CD Impactor for users without a paid Apple developer account. Well apparently he knows about the problem and apparently he will be fixing it, but not right now because it takes a lot of time. Also Soric posted at this quote, CD Impactor, unlike say Reprovision, is intended to run on stock desktop platforms, macOS, Windows and Linux. To support this new authentication scheme will require spending some time, I guess well over a week, reverse engineering Apple's code to achieve interoperability. He also says in here, quote, alternatively I could drop support for Linux, which honestly feels like defeat, to only support macOS and Windows, in which case I spend my time ripping apart items to figure out where it stores this key on Windows, but this would be easy for Apple to repeatedly break. Now he made a lot of posts in here explaining what is wrong and of course explaining that there are a couple of workarounds available, but the bottom line is that he will be updating CDI Impactor soon and you will be able to use it again in order to deploy on cover or your applications and so on, but before that can be done he has to figure out what is broken and of course how to re-implement it in CDI Impactor so that it would work on both Windows and Mac OS. So it may take time, but Sorik said that he is indeed interested in updating the uh, CDI Impactor, so we will get an update soon. Now this is actually pretty important because as you probably know, the signing services like Ignition and App Valley have been down for quite a few days in the past couple of weeks, so when this happens and when these services are down and revoked, you're not able to install the Uncover or to open the installed Uncover, so you're not able to re-jailbreak your device. So I'm glad to see that the CDA Impactor will come back and it will be fixed from this dreaded error. Now as Sorik says in here, this will take time because he has to reverse engineer Apple code and of course he has to implement it after that. Now speaking of Apple, they released today the iOS 13.2.3 in here, which is currently not supported by the check range jailbreak, it only supports the version 3.2.2 but it will be supported soon, so if you want to update to the latest version in here, the check range jailbreak will support it soon, so stay tuned for that. However, speaking of the check range jailbreak, you probably know that it's only available for macOS for the moment, however QWERTY Worry App or Look at the Desco made very very big progress progress on porting it to Linux and to be more precise to Raspberry Pi. He posted in here quote, finally got this damn USB controller to work and apparently he was able to use a Raspberry Pi to load the exploit which means that soon we will be able to use this on Linux. Somebody asked him in the comments can you compile an x86 binary for us and he said quote, it's not fully done yet but we're close and we had issues with a particular USB controller used by Raspberry Pi. I found a workaround but we still missed some minor details, so soon you will be able to use something else other than the Mac OS in order to jailbreak your device with the check rain. So this is actually major progress and that would allow you to jailbreak your device with check rain without having a Mac OS device. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm GSNow and till the next time, peace out.